Good morning. Well, I am currently stuck in B and Q car park trying to get some materials, but as you can hear, it is. Not only raining, but it is hailstorming. So I'm gonna wait for a minute before um, I attempt to get out of the van. And um, we'll go off and get, um, we need some batten and we need some aluminium insulation tape. So wish me luck. If it doesn't go off in a few minutes, I'm just gonna have to run for it. Oh, not very nice, is it, monster? No, it's horrible. Isn't it? Got lunch from Lidl and now we need to get into there. But I'm not going out in this at the moment. And the sky is just black. And we're making a dash for it. Okay, so we're on the hunt for some 20 mil by 45 mil band for mil. Let's see if we can find it in all the chaos. We've got two, let's go. Wow, mission successful. Got the two lengths of batten in the back there that we need and some insulation tape. Hopefully you can see it there. Uh, it's very expensive in B&Q. I don't know how self-builders finance the build because I have the advantage of having trade. But just for today, I had to nip into B&Q because um, I don't have the time to go to Juicens. But uh, yeah, really expensive to buy anything these days in a DIY store. So hats off to anyone doing a self-build and you're having to go to these shops because they are a rip-off, <laughs> quite frankly. Right, we're gonna head off in the van now and go and catch up with Mel. And I've got some goodies for lunch today, so fingers crossed we can get something yummy to eat as well. Monsters all suited and booted. Let's go. It was chucking it down as well. Yeah. I got soaked going into B&Q. Yeah, you <laughs> so just arrived. This is what Mel's done while I've been ill. He's taped everywhere. He's put loads of sheets of insulation in. He's been a super trooper. <laughs> a super trooper. I think you should do that. Can you do like a super trooper kind of? That's certainly not a favour, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> similar kind of thing, isn't it? Now, when I was in Australia, I saw this, um, this guy playing a didgeridoo and he was playing Mamma Mia on the didgeridoo. Oh, cool. Yeah, it was an Aboriginal. <laughs> Ka-ching boom. I haven't heard that one from you yet. Oh dear. They're all coming out today. Monty's enjoying the sun. It's got a good track record, this track saw. <laughs> OK, 
a ching boom. Plank. Yeah, you are a bit of one. Ha ha. <laughs> it's the last of it. So, so far today we finished off the insulation. Mal has taped everywhere. He's even cut out this electrical port, which we're going to fit in a minute. We've just cut the 20 mil ply to go in here, which is this one. And then we've just got to do an identical one, which Mel is just measuring out now. Aren't you? this on them. Nobody mm -hmm. does it better. Nobody does it better. The monster is busy is chilling. The barn is quiet. because everyone's in the tea room having another cup of tea. Hello, monster. You all right? Are you checking up on everybody? Come here. I'm keeping daddy in line. Good. Good. You good boy. Come on then, let's go. Here is Mel doing a very clever trick with a bit of wood. So this bit of wood is the same height as you can see. <laughs> You're just redoing what I've just said. <laughs> and then, yeah, you just fold it like that. And then you've got a template. Simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Will it work? That's not a matter. There you go, fits perfect. See how well that fits. Very nice. The only problem is, I did make a bit of a boo boo, look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. It still works. Yeah, you just need to cut it, it actually, tighter. It's probably better because it gives us that little bit of wiggle room because the, the board has got to be precise. It's got to go up against that. Okay, well, there. it's better if it's like that then. And, yeah, so I've done that deliberate line. Like, yeah. It gives a bit of wiggle room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was deliberate, that. Just <laughs> 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 Room. <laughs> it's a bit harsh. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. It's worked quite actually. It's worked out. Okay. Even though it was a big cock up, it actually works in our benefit. Holy coffee, I'm so thirsty. All this dust has made me dry. Okay, Ugh. well, you get that lead out on the. I'm as dry as a camel, camel's. <laughs> camel Careful what you say now. <laughs> dry as a, as a camel's coat, toenail. Camel's foot. Nuns. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to put that in the video. I'm a bit parched. Time for coffee, love. Right, you go have a coffee. So I'm sweeping up and I found these two bits of wood on the floor and I thought, I don't remember cutting any, any OSB board. I'm sure I didn't cut any OSB And then I realised I did cut some OSB board. <laughs> oh dear. Oopsie. Bit of glue, be all right. Yeah, you'll have to glue that in. You don't want a hole. Keep that to ourselves. I won't tell anyone I was a blonde pool and cut <laughs> number of me. I did think when you were cutting it, though, that it was going a bit hard. Yeah, I did think there was a bit of a And you said bit. it was a bit wonky, so yeah. no wonder, because you're cutting two lengths of wood. Yeah, there you go. Never mind. That was for the best of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sit down. Enjoying my, enjoy my mocha. Mocha chocolate water. <laughs> Starting to make progress now. Yeah, so that one's cut, That's fitted. The bed, the bed supports. And this one's cut as well. Yeah. Didn't you do well today? Um, you did. I couldn't have done it without your help, my dear. Oh. I'm sure you could. Me. Yeah, time to pack up and call Sorry. it a day. Sorry. So look, this is going to go like that. Let's have a look. 
şey yapıyor. <laughs> was kind of a, an impression and then with that lip with the bed what fitted yeah. on top there that's huge yeah it's got to be three inches so that's yeah six inches yeah so between the two yeah half a foot wider than it would have been if we just carried on battening this straight up to here yeah Ooh. so that can go right along there in the mattress. Yeah, the mattress will go on top of that. Yeah. That's, a, that's the level of the mattress, yeah. It's going to start there. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, so sort of slats. Slats, so, right, that makes more sense. Not like the mattress. That way. Got beams going to go across that way. And that's going to go like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You sat here contemplating. I was playing with my air brakes. Do you want to hear? All oh, right, as long as you weren't playing with something else. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Sounds like you after a long night. <laughs> something more well satisfying about is it, Should it make that noise? Yeah, that's, that noise. Like it's sucking. Yeah, blowing. I'm blowing. I like that bit. Okay. It's cool, isn't it? <laughs> something mainly about ear brakes. <laughs> okay. Right, where are we going now? Back to yours. Yeah, ours. Yours. Folks. Your folks. Yeah. yeah. Good morning, everyone. We're back on Easter Monday at the barn, and Mel is setting up for the next video clip, which I think you'll be really interested to see how he has created it. So keep watching to find out how he does this genius bit of filming. Now I'm going to pause the video right there because I've just realised that I did not explain the reason behind my... my... <laughs> see what I have to go for him. Now I'm going to pause the video right there because I've just realised whilst editing this video I didn't quite explain the reason behind me not being a big fan of recycled bottle insulation. But rather than explain, allow me to demonstrate. Got it. Yay! Woohoo! So now we cut to the upper camera and demonstrate why I'm not a fan of bottled insulation. Yes. Recycled bottled insulation. Building a camper van and filming it takes so long. So if you happen by this video, if you happen to come by this video, on YouTube somewhere, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, uh, testing one, two, yes, it is working. Right, let's get into the wheel. Should be straight in front of you. No. Uh, there it is. Yes, you're right there, it's fucking front of me. Any old drill do, will it? Well, preferably one that you don't mind getting squiffy. Make sure it's yes, we're good. And Testing, one, two, buckle my shoe. Here we go, this one is for you. <laughs> okay, so here we have some recycled bottle insulation. This stuff is quite thin, but it doesn't matter. It will serve perfectly fine for this demonstration. So imagine this is on the side of your van, insulating your van. This panel is your, um, well, it's your furniture panel, say like that. Now you want to affix something to this panel and to do that you need to drill through it to screw into it. So watch what happens when you drill through a panel into this bot recycled bottle insulation and you'll understand exactly why I'm no fan of this stuff. Oh, there we go. So there you are, it's all gathered up around the drill. Now the problem is trying to get your drill out. There you go. Oh shit. Snap the drill. It's that simple and that easy. And look how thick that drill is. It's a quite a chunky drill. And I've got to admit, I didn't exactly mean to do that. But I'm glad it happens because you can see just how much it gathers around the drill. It can be a real pain. And that's why I'm not a fan of recycled bottled insulation. But saying that, it is really good stuff. It does the job really well and it does get rid of some of that plastic from our oceans. So uh, don't let this put you off using it. Just bear in mind, don't use it where you might, or you, you're likely to want to drill through the panel um, into this stuff. Because look at that. I mean, that drill bit is not coming out of there. <laughs> 
And the same with screws as well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it happens to, it's even worse with screws. You try and put a screw for it. So, so maybe do that as well. <sighs> Look at that. You're in my shop, dear. I'm in my shop. Go check out Becky's video. She's filming a behind the scenes video for her Patreon. I'm getting in me bleeding way. <laughs> so well worth a view. But there you are. I think I made my point. Right, back to the video. If we can fix this, fix this flush to the image like it would be fucking perfect. So it's the end of another day and we're super happy that the awning fitted out well. We're just going to work out how to attach them onto the uni strut that we've installed and that just means rotating the solar panels. So we'll see you in the morning. So we've just arrived at the barn and Mel has already been busy working. Jasper's been painting. Got all his panels there. And they're talking silicon and adhesive. It's all a bit dark and windery. Windery? Wintery today? I've already popped Monster on the chair, on the table rather. Hello, Papa. Because it's really wet and windy, and I just had to go and move my van to make sure that the barn doors, when they open, Sometimes the wind catches them and I do not want the doors to smack around and smash into the front of my van. So I just had to repark just to make sure that doesn't happen because it's easily done. Right then, monster. Do you want to go and have a little explore? Off you go then, boo-boo. He's always happy to explore. I'm going to help Mel quickly by putting the carpet that's just arrived on the panels in the bedroom area. And I'm going to make a cup of tea and get started. It's already halfway through the day, but I've already been working this morning. So I thought I'd come down and join Mel for the afternoon down here at the workshop. Buy us some lunch um, and yeah, have a little day together. It always looks really dark in here when the lights are all off and the doors are shut. But it's taking shape, which is super exciting. It's all on a wonk. It's on a wonk, on a wonk. And why is it on that wonk? Cause it is, cause it is. <clears throat> right. <laughs> right, this table isn't stable at all. Right, just got the board got the table covered over with some kind of protective picnic blanket because the table's filthy. I'm gonna get said carpet out of the packet and work out how much I need to cut for the first panel. Let's get started. It's very furry. It doesn't look like the way stretch carpet at all. It just looks like teddy bear fur. Are we building a teddy bear or a camper van? It's a big teddy bear on the wheels. Mel has got a piece of aluminium up there that he wasn't intending on using, but he suddenly had a genius idea of putting it on the front face to mount the 
lights and the security camera, but now he's actually going to undermount it under the uni strut. I was going to get above like that. So I've just realised it'll actually fit under me. And it looks so much smoother and cleaner fitting because then it closes the gap on the top of the roof. The reason we're closing it off is because if we were to get roots or trees under there, it will get stuck and wedge the van. So we want to make sure that that bar is all the way across the front so that nothing can tuck itself under if we go down country lanes or roads in general where there's branches sticking out. everyone it is yet another morning and Mel has been busy painting and sticking up a new camera so he's painted that strip that runs across the front of the van and I don't know whether you can see there is actually a camera right there that we're testing out as well so he's gonna do the same for the rear but he's got to cut it first so we'll check on that in a bit but at the moment He sat having a nice cup of tea in the sun. Yeah. It's got a bit dark and gloomy, but Mel's been up at the back now doing exactly the same thing. But I think he deserves a break, don't you? And the, yeah. So he's having a break, waiting for that to dry, literally waiting for paint to dry. <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't take long. It's only one little layer, one little coat, because I've run out of paint. Yeah, and it's actually pretty good for Mel to sit and have a break, because you don't often see him doing this, because he works like a trooper, so. It's trooper. A, a trooper, yeah. Super a trooper. super trooper or a storm trooper, I'm not sure. Find me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him like the sun. <laughs> you can tell he likes Alba. Anyway. We're going to leave him to his cup of tea. I love a bit of Abba. You love a bit of Abba? Yeah, yeah. sorry, go on. I'll interrupt you again. That's all right. <laughs> He's so excited about Abba. I was going to say, we're going to leave Mel to have his cup of tea in peace. We'll see you in a minute. So I'm just starting to cook on the diesel cooktop again. Burgers are my favourite. Mel's too. So while he's busy filming, I'm going to make lunch quickly. We've got some veggies. Monsters trying to get a hold of the, the raw burgers. Aren't you, boy? Do you want some pieces? Yes. I need to cook them first, though, so. Cooking away. Only took five minutes to heat up. People keep complaining about how long it takes to heat up. It doesn't take any longer than a normal cooktop. Now that we've got it bedded in and working, and we're used to it, simple. So I'm gonna get cooking. Well, I've just been trying to get out of the barn and came up to our security gates that we've got here and um, our padlock has been broken by somebody at the barn. Don't know whether they've driven over it or dropped it or what, but basically I've been locked, locked in and couldn't get out, nor can anybody else. So 
we've gone in search of a new padlock so that we can secure our barn again because we are very careful with how we publicise the barn and um, we like to make sure it's secure because we've had quite a few things go missing and we've had a theft a few months back where some stuff went missing so that's why we're very careful with who knows where the location of the barn is and who comes in and out so it's all for, for our security as well as for the vans and the, the storage of everything. On a day-to-day -day basis we come in and out of these gates all the time and uh, that's not very good that uh, that has happened. Good afternoon everyone. Well it's the end of the week. The barn is all quiet at the moment so I thought I'd do a little bit of filming. Everyone has had a really good week here at the barn. Lots of productive things have been happening and our water tank has just turned up so I'm just going to show you that now. I'm just going to come up and uh, peek into the van so you can see. Here we are. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is our big water tank, 190 litres. And that is why we're going to put it right in the centre of the van between the two wheel arches. So it's nice and centralised not going to slosh about and it fits perfectly so we've got enough space in the garage area and then it's going to, it's going to separate between the living area and the garage area perfectly so all looking good just going to go out into the van now it's rather windy today and look who i've just found hello hello <laughs> What are you doing? Nothing. Doesn't he look dashing? I'm talking to our subscribers. Oh, he's on the phone to somebody. No. <laughs> well, I'm off. Bye. 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 He's going to go and carry on fitting the cameras, aren't you? Yeah, cameras yeah? and water tank. And I've got a bed to fit, kitchen cabinet to fit, um, a fridge, water pump, shower, sofa. Yeah, you yeah, just do a that few all things today. to do. Yeah, I do it today. <laughs> yeah. I've just been saying to everyone that we've had a good week, haven't we? Yeah, it's been a good week. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. So we're good and happy. Hope you are too. <laughs> I can't reach, that's why I've got short arms. Anyway, I'll let you get on. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> He's such a cutie pie. I love him to bits. And look, little monsters in here as well. Hello, Hello. Right, we've had lunch, uh, although I didn't film it. Um, so now I've got to just do a bit of washing up and clean all this up. And I've got editing to do. So see you later. Hope you enjoyed this week's catch up at the barn. Take care.